in Charlotte, somebody accidentally cuts a gas line every day and a half or so. There usually aren't any injuries, but there is always the potential for danger. And we wanted to know why this is happening and also what happens to those responsible. New at 6 now, you may be surprised at what Channel 9 anchor Suzanne Stevens discovered. Charlotte's growth means the construction crews are always busy digging and clearing. But too often, a gas line is cut in the process, bringing out firefighters, stopping traffic, even causing evacuations like the one at a daycare at West Charlotte earlier this month. It can be expensive and a huge mess any time a line is accidentally cut. Now, there is actually a system in place to keep that from happening, but the problem is not everyone uses it. Is this in the subdivision? The name? Anytime anyone plans to dig, whether it's a construction company or a homeowner, they are supposed to call here ahead of time. This is the North Carolina One Call Center in Greensboro, which offers a free service. Callers explain where they'll be digging, and operators figure out which utilities have underground lines there. Piedmont Natural Gas, WorldCom, Bell South, ICG Telecom. If we give us an opportunity to notify the, the companies that have underground facilities in the area where you plan to dig, uh, we'll notify them. They'll go out, and locate, and mark the facilities. And here's how they do that, using special sensors to find the lines, then spraying paint to mark them. It's free to whoever will be doing the digging, and it's required by law. But some people never call. Mike Shin is with UtiliQuest, really the company that marks the lines for utilities. Do you people are just lazy? That may be part of it as well, yes. We have some people that just don't feel like they have the time to, to stop and make a phone call. Part of the problem might be a lack of penalty. Even though it's illegal not to call before digging, if a line is cut, the offender pays no fine, just repair costs, which average $1,500. Steve Connor is with Piedmont Natural Gas, whose lines get cut about 200 times a year. We wish the legislature would look at imposing fines for people who uh, dig into a utility line on the ground and had not called previously to get those lines marked. Uh, I think it would put a little more bite to the, the law. The law is out there, but there is no teeth to it. No one can actually go after anyone and get any kind of a, a fine now. Now, there is some talk in Raleigh of making a law to impose fines if you cut a gas line, but right now I have to tell you, it's just talk. So if you are going to do any digging at all, call the One Call Center, the number 1-800-632-4949. They say even if you're just planting flowers in your yard, call them, and you have to do it at least 48 hours in advance. It's free, could save you a whole lot of trouble. You're kidding. I would never think if you're just planting flowers nope. in a flower bed. So they're not very deep, some of these lines. Some of these lines are just two inches, but the problem is you would never know. Some utilities are two inches, as I said, others go down three feet. So you won't know unless you call, or if you don't call, and then you discover it by accident. Ooh, that yeah. would be a bad accident. All right. Uh, gas main leak shuts down a road in northeast Charlotte. Piedmont Natural Gas crews blocked off Reedy Creek Road in front of the Reedy Creek Park about noon today. Construction crews working in that area hit a gas main. Medic crews were there just as a precaution, but nobody was hurt. It seems like that one uh, are dangerous and have contractors in the Charlotte area very concerned. State law requires they call ahead to find out where underground lines are buried, but often they say the system doesn't work, and tonight they're blowing the whistle. Mark Becker has our investigation. As George Kirby watched his new water line going in, he had no idea how complicated it would be. Matt Beringer and his crew had run into a problem even before they put the first shovel in the ground. They didn't know exactly what they might run into. These are the utilities that were notified. Contractors have to check with North Carolina's utility locating service two days before they dig. Beringer had called three days ahead, but there were no marks to show where gas lines might be, and George Kirby had seen two of them go in here. You don't want to be digging around power or gas without knowing where they're at and without physically seeing them because the, the power, you know, can kill a man, the gas can, you can evacuate a whole community. Dozens of times this summer, the fire department has had to close off streets in Charlotte and clear out neighborhoods when contractors have hit gas lines. Sometimes it is the contractor's mistake, but Matt Beringer showed us his own reports of times where his crews have hit gas lines that were unmarked or mismarked, as was the case here. And you saw what I understand, a, a 
an extraordinary effort to go out of your way to find something that shouldn't have been that hard to do. Alan Gray represents general contractors who are pushing for new laws that would make utility companies map out exactly where their lines are to prevent accidents. Five minutes away, he's at the other end of the road. Matt Beringer did call and get a locator out to mark one gas line, but Beringer's crew actually found the other one on their own, and it would be another hour before they could get back to digging. The locating company did acknowledge that those lines should have been marked already, but they say they do get to the vast majority of calls on time. But not always setting up delays, or at worst, disaster. In Charlotte, Mark Becker, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.